can't stop addicted to the fast life feels like we're living in the past life hey beauties welcome back guys so how are you guys doing hope you guys are well hope you guys are trying to stay safe all right so guys in today's video i'm going to be doing my makeup i so want to go out of my comfort zone today i want to do some colors you know it's summer and i just want to do something really really vibrant and hopefully i can achieve that so yeah um i have some product i'll be using here today though they are not new you've seen them before but i might have used it one or twice all right so for my pigment i'll be using the darella cosmetic neon pigment today i'll be popping this one on here focus yeah this one and i so want that neo green vibe eye makeup look today and I'm also going to play with other colors that I have here. I have this um, eyeshadow palette by NYX. You guys have seen this before. I think I've used it once or twice, something like that. And basically, every other product that I have owned before or that I have, so is what I'll be using to achieve this look today. I just tried to lay my hair or apply this hair because I just didn't want to do my regular straight hair today, you know, like my regular wavy hair whatever but yeah hopefully you guys are going to like this look today without much talking guys let's get right into this video oh before i forget do not forget to subscribe if you're here for the first time and if you've been here you watch us and i think you like what you see don't forget to subscribe if you haven't all right so oh I will be applying or rather I will be wearing my lashes today of course since I launched my lash line every single makeup look you guys have seen me with I wear my lashes all right so this style like the style I'll be wearing today is called Cordelia all right so that is after my very own name so this is how it looks like and yeah let's just get right into this video guys all right beauty so to start off as you can tell my skin is looking all dried up and flaky that is because i just washed my face and i haven't applied anything on my face all right so the first product product i'm going to apply is this um serum you saw me applying right now it's by l'oreal and it's called um hydrogenous yeah if i'm not mistaken yeah hydrogenous um aloe vera water so you see it it has given me that moisture or rather the hydration effect that my face or skin needs all right so to prime my face i'm using not my face sorry my lip <laughs> so i'm using that coca-cola lip balm i did a review on it you guys must have seen that so for my primer i'm using the l'oreal indefectible primer and i'm just applying that all over my face basically so the next thing I'm going to apply is this liquid illuminator by Micelline. So this is just going to give me extra glow from underneath my foundation. From underneath, sorry guys. <laughs> underneath my foundation, alright? So the next thing I'm going to do now is to apply my foundation. And I'm going to be missing two foundations, which are by Juvia's Place, um, Juvia's Place, of course, and F Cosmetics. So the reason I'm mixing this Juvia's Place is because um, it's too light, so I need, I need to add a foundation that is a bit darker, which is why I chose the F Cosmetics foundation. So I'm just going to mix it on my hand and also mix, um, warm it up as well, and then apply on my face. Basically, I'm going to apply my foundation. Yeah, you guys are going to see that as I do that. And I'm going to apply or rather I'm going to blend everything in with a foundation brush. foundation is too much but guys it's finished literally so yeah that's it and do you see how beautiful and flawless this foundation is looking on me like are you kidding me <laughs> so to do my highlights i'm going to use the f concealer this is the 
camouflage or the O, right? I don't know, guys. You guys have seen me use this before, so that's what I'm using to highlight the areas I want to highlight. And I'm blending it out with the same foundation brush. So this just helped me to blend in my concealer seamlessly. That's why I do I do it like that. Like I use my foundation brush to blend in my concealer. Sometimes I will I also like to use um beauty sponge or I might choose to use a different brush but of late I've been doing this step and it works for me perfectly so yeah that's what I'm doing for now think about you all the time you see it in my dreams baby I don't need dollar bills to have fun tonight I love cheap thrills baby I don't need dollar so for my contour I'm using this concealer by or I'll say stick concealer of course by Revolution Pro so it's just laying there in my drawer I'm like come baby girl let's play <laughs> all right so I just apply it all over like around my forehead or I'll say per the perimeter of my forehead on um, the side of my nose yeah where I need to contour you guys know that and then I'm just blending it out with this contour brush so once I'm done with the blending the next thing I'm going to do is to set my highlight you guys are going to see that in a minute so first of all i'm going to use this um this setting powder by i can't remember guys but i got it from um rosemary if you live in germany you know um where rosemary like what rosemary is it's like a um, drugstore so i got this powder from them and yeah i'm using that to set my highlight first and then i'm going to top it up with the sasha buttercup because that is going to give me more um like that is going to make or brighten my highlight basically so that's what i'll be doing I'm gonna rock you, rock to set my contour in place i'm using these uh contour and highlight kit by la girl so i'm taking that deep shade right there to set the contour and i think later i'm going to take the lighter shade to do my reverse contour you guys are going to see that in a minute so um, i think once i'm done with this step the next thing i'm going to do is to set my face just to lock in the powder and cream and all, everything that I've basically used on my face, you know, and also take away any excess powder. Oh, 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 sorry, I forgot. Of course, I need to do my bronzer. I don't skip this process at all. So yeah, after this, I'm going to set my face basically. No sleep, cause I feel like I'm always dreaming. Do you see that? Do you see that flawlessness? <laughs> All right, so now I've gone ahead to do my brows and it's time to do the face. I'm sorry, the eyes. So for my base, or I'll say my eyeshadow base, I always use concealer, you guys know. So this concealer is by Revolution Pro. This is the Defining Conceal Concealer in the shade C13. So I just applied that all over my lid and I'm blending it out with a brush basically. 
So once I'm done, I'm going to go into... Oh, wait, let's get there first, all right? Rise of any destiny is calling me yeah. I'm in love with the shape of you We push and pull like a magnet Also my heart is falling too I'm in love with your body And last night you were in my Alright, for my eyeshadow palette, I'm using this Off Tropic eyeshadow palette by NYX and I'm taking that vibrant pink color. So I'm going to apply that on my crease or I would say that is going to serve as my transition shade, which I know is super, super deep, like too vibrant for transition. But due to the fact that I'm going for a very vibrant look today, I'm good with that. So I tried to clean up my lid with a wet towel, but it wasn't working. So I had to do my usual step, you know, cleaning up with concealer. So here I'm basically, uh, basically cutting my crease because I want this um, a cut crease eye look. So to make that neon pigment stick and stay there for as long as I want it, I decided to use this Glitter Glue by Revolution Pro. So I just um, applied that, um, where, where, where to call that? I don't know. <laughs> I just applied that on the area I want to apply the pigment. So now I'm basically applying the pigment on where I already applied the um, Glitter Glue. Does that make sense? I think yes. So that is what I'm doing now. And now I'm going ahead to intensify that pink shade I earlier used because it's it looks like it's fading out. So I just wanted it to pour more. So I added a bit more and then blended it, blended it out, which is what you guys are seeing right here. So for my lid, I'm going in with this mustard uh, yellowish looking color. So because I just didn't want to leave do the mustard alone i decided to add that other color which i show you guys already so i'm going to add that to the outer part of my lid as you can tell right here so yeah that's it and i am really glad it came out really nice as you can tell right here so now i'm going to do my wing using my favorite wing liner um by essence all right so i'm just doing my simple wing right here and right now so once i'm done i'm going to coat my lashes using the maybelline colossa mascara and yeah i think that will be that or no after which i'm going to do my bottom line of course so i'm just adding a black or i'm lining my bottom waterline with a black pencil and i went in with that shade i just showed you it's more like a purple shade but it it, it complements the pink on the lid on the on the lid right no, not the lid on the crease so it's okay so i just use that to blend out that black eye pencil and then add a bit of this mustard color on the inner corner of the bottom eye does that make sense i think yes so i've gone ahead to okay yeah to apply one part of my lashes so here i'm going to show you guys how i apply my lashes recently so i got this streak out from um sorry I got this trick I'm just blabbing right now I'm sorry guys <laughs> so I got this trick or I, 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 I learned about this trick from Osarobo Sources channel all right so she I saw her applying um, what's it called the lash glue on her lid first before she applied the lashes I was like oh wow I need to give this a try but I then switched it up a bit because I added a bit or I would say the leftover on the applicator on my lashes. So that way it helps the lashes to stick easily and perfectly to the lid, which already has the glue. I don't know if that makes sense, yeah? So this way guys, it's really, really simple to apply your lashes and your lashes can stay for 24 hours. I guarantee you that guys, I'm not kidding you. Like. Your lashes can stay so long by doing this process so yeah this is basically it and like I earlier said I'm applying my lashes for my lash line and the style I'm wearing here is called Cordelia so they are still this one is still available you can order and if you want to order just send me DM on Instagram and we will discuss 
disposal all right so this is all i'm doing right here just to make the lash stay properly pushing it down trying to make it glue and all of that of course it's already glued to the lid you know but just doing those extra things that we usually do you guys know how this goes right so yeah and my eyes were looking ooh, like they were really popping and i really love the fact that these lashes did complement this particular look so yeah this is it guys i think i'm just going to go ahead to finish up the look by you know um doing what i have to do on my cheek like the bronzer um sorry the um blush the highlighter my lip color and all of that set the face one more time basically and yeah so if you watch this video till the end please do let me know what you think in the comment section below and yeah if you're here for the first time do not forget to subscribe follow me up on instagram at delia's empire subscribe to my vlog channel delia's vlog check out my lash line delia's empire lashes every link will be in the description bar below so this is going to be it guys like this is where i'm going to leave you guys and until next time guys stay beautiful and be blessed bye guys i love you no i don't know scrub scrub is a girl that can't get no love from me sitting in the passenger side of our best friend's ride try to all at me baby girl you stay on my mind fulfill my fantasy tell me how you feel i think about you all the time you see it in my dreams baby i don't need dollar bills to have fun tonight I Thinking back in time that laid off I know I was trying to face the things that hurt me so long.